thank you so much for being a part of the Teddy Award this year. Uh, could you start by just introducing a little bit about the work that you do? Yeah, my name is Maria Paula Lorgia. I am the film programmer of the Cinematheque of Bogota and I have been coordinating Ciclo Rosa, the oldest LGBTI film festival of Colombia since the past uh, six years. Okay. And this year, there's, as with last year, there's quite a few queer films from Latin America and Colombia itself. Why do you think there's such a strong output of queer film from Latin America at the moment? Well, I feel uh, Latin American cinema is very fresh and there are a lot of schools that are kind of uh, encouraging uh, that uh, radicalism in film and also our political situation, it's very, it's moving all the time. So I think that the shift, the shift from leftist governments to right-wing governments have influenced in a way how the artistic movement have developed and we have seen this in the, uh, in the films that are selected this year. Also there's quite a good uh, film funds that are good, Colombia, Brazil, Argentina, uh, so also it's a reflection of the support of the funds to the films. Can you explain a little bit more about that political context? So obviously in Brazil there's a really big shift towards the right. Is that reflective of the rest of Latin America? Well, yes. For example, you could see films in this selection from Guatemala and Colombia that reflect kind of the violence of uh, the governments and the violence of the religion towards the LGBTI community. Evangelism has become a great movement in Latin America, a great religion. So, and the governments, the right-wing governments are supporting that. So I feel that uh, artists are very worried about that situation and they are reflecting that into film. And how do you think your background will help you in making your decisions on the Teddy Jury this year? Well, I have uh, to be sincere and I think uh, I'm searching for a balance between the political and the cinematic. I think it's always important <laughs> to put the cinematic over all the political, but of course uh, the background of knowing the directors of Latin America's work and living the situation of Latin America will help, help to make a decision about what's the most important film and the strongest one for the Teddy Awards. And is there anything you're particularly looking for from the Teddy films this year? Uh, well, I was looking uh, for great cinematic uh, works and also uh, for important subjects. And of course, the Berlin Alley is a great platform to seeing these kind of films. Thank you so much for talking to us. Okay, and, um, thanks good luck to you. With the decision making. Thank you.